Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll walk you through how I set up my camera to film this time-lapse sequence. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. So this is my so-called studio. Just a simple wooden box that I screwed together. Added a few brackets so I could mount the lighting and some more here for the tripod head. You can obviously move it up or down depending on what I'm photographing. In the background just got a piece of cardboard. Could just use cloth that'll probably work a bit better but this seems to work fairly good. I'll just quickly go through the camera settings I now use for the sequence. I use my Canon 7D with a Sigma 18-50 f2.8 lens. Got it connected to an external power source. That way I'm not changing batteries mid-sequence. Cannot communicate with the battery, yes. That's because of the external power source. For these sequences, I always use JPEG large. It's not necessary to use the RAW with this controlled lighting and it just uses up way too much space on my hard drive. Make sure I have the review time set to at least a few seconds. That way while it's shooting the sequence I can see what it looks like without having to press any buttons on the camera. White balance, I've got that set to 5500 Kelvin, which is the same, uh, same color temperature as the lighting I'm using. If you don't have a Kelvin setting, you can just set it to daylight. It shows approximately 5200, it's close enough. Just anything but auto white balance as you don't want the color temperature to shift during the sequence as that will be a lot more work in post processing. Otherwise nothing really to change here. Always format the card before starting, it's empty but I'll do it anyway. As you can see it was only a 32 gigabyte card which is more than enough space to shoot several thousand images in JPEG format on this camera. That's it with the camera. Just another important consideration is if you're using a battery pack, make sure when you mount it onto the tripod head that you can still access the battery without taking the camera off the tripod as it'll obviously adjust the position. Okay, now that the camera's mounted, we'll go through a few more settings. Always shoot in manual mode with manual focus. Just to ensure that nothing shifts during the sequence. I'll just demonstrate the aperture here. That's always the first setting I use. I'll zoom in five times. Just focus on the front here. We're holding the depth of field preview button. You can see that's 2.8, 3.2, 4, 5. 8 and 11. I'll adjust the ISO here. Normally I don't want to go above 400, maybe 800 at the most, so I'll put it on 800 for now. You can see it's still way too dark, so I'll just keep adjusting the shutter speed till that histogram comes up to the to the right. Don't want to go overboard because I want to keep the background as dark as possible and I definitely don't want to blow out any highlights. Not too worried about a slower shutter speed as it's there shouldn't be any movement here. So that looks a bit pretty good to me. 140th at f11 ISO 800. So this is the settings I'll, I'll use for the sequence. For the delay, leave that zero, we don't need that. Nor the long exposure. Interval. I'll adjust that to two minutes. That's my go-to for shooting flowers. You might need to experiment a bit till you find the right interval. For the number. Uh, nope, not that way. We'll set that to infinity. We'll just keep going. And we'll turn the beep off. 
otherwise it'll get annoying. Okay, that's it. It's been running for five days now and both the flowers that I was focusing on have fully opened. So I'll shut it down and end the sequence now and pick it up in the computer. Mm -hmm.